lunchtime. Great. Where's the restaurant? Right here. I thought it'd be fun to have our first meal together in the open air. Look, Rodney. Mulrooney Grove. Grandfather, are these wonderful trees all yours? Every single one of them. Mine, yours, everybody. What did you do? Buy them? All that sign means is that I had the privilege of seeing it. They'll always be here. Just for people to look at? Exactly. My, they're big. Must have taken a long time to grow. 4,000 years for some of them. Tuna, ham. So beautiful. He's hungry and there might not be anything left when you get back. Have trouble, son? No peanut butter and jelly. Oh, dig down. They're probably down in the bottom. Oh, they probably get the labels mixed. Grandfather! Grandfather, please! 
Station, call to come quickly. I promised him we'd be right back. Promised who? The gnome. The what? The gnome. And he's got a simply awful problem. Oh, not just a gnome, but a gnome with a problem. Now that is something. Here, yeah, phone one. Good. But grandfather, he's waiting to talk to you. To me? But why me? Because I told him if anyone could help him with his problem, it was you. You've got to come. He's waiting. <laughs> well, come on, Rodney. We gotta go talk to a gnome. Now, Elizabeth, on the possibility this little fellow isn't there. He'll be there. About six inches high, I imagine. Taller than that. Little yellow cap and buckles on his shoes. His hat was green and I didn't notice anybody. I don't understand that and all the stories about leprechauns. I didn't say he was a leprechaun. He said he was a gnome. Oh, a gnome. Well, that's different. Really hungry, my love. It was right there. It was right there. 